Did you know that Windows 10 has millions of free apps available for download? Here's a look at some of the best free apps available from the Microsoft Store. Translator. Microsoft Translator will translate text, voice, or images to and from 60 different languages. The app will even read the original or translated text back to you. This is a test of the Translator app. Esta es una prueba de la aplicación traductor. You can start a conversation and share a conversation code or 3D barcode with an individual or group to communicate using each other's native language on your own devices. You can also browse categorized phrases and translate them into other languages. With its 60 languages, it's a very powerful app and completely free. Character Map UWP. Character Map UWP is a modern replacement for the built in character map in Windows. All your fonts are listed on the left. You can copy a character to the clipboard and then paste it anywhere you want. You can save the character as a PNG graphics file for use in other apps. Go to Settings to change the image resolution or the character grid size to fit your needs. This application dramatically improves the visuals of the generic character map in Windows and has a much more useful user interface. Speed Test by Ookla Use Speed Test for a 30 second test of your internet speed. Simply launch the app, click Go. It finds a local connection and begins the test. Speed test measures ping, download, and upload speeds. You can share the results or view the history. Click on a specific test to see the results in detail. If you think you're having difficulty with your internet connection, this is a great test to find out. Polar. Polar is a photo editor that makes up for the lack of photo editing options in Windows 10. You can upgrade Polar to the Pro version, but the free version has a large array of editing tools. Polar has the usual editing options like crop, filter, light, and color. It has a wide range of effects like reflect, pixelate, You can invert the image. Zoom blur is kind of cool. And if you don't like the changes you've made, you can click up here to revert them back. It does show all the history of the changes you've made. And you can clear that. It does have features that are available in the Pro version if you choose to upgrade, but it's very powerful as is. I really like the face tools option. It detects faces in your image and when you click on the individual you can make adjustments. Change the height of the nose. Adjust the mouth the smile. When you're done check that and you can zoom out and see the changes that you've made. If you hit the plus down here you can see other options in the menu and turn on and off the ones that you want to use. Gives you an idea of how many pro features are available as well. It has text editing. You can add text, double click, and type what you want. Now you can move or adjust the text as needed. And when you're done, check that. It's also got preset. You can pick from a variety of different text formats and edit them to fit your needs. You can also come over here to the menu and do Auto Enhance. Altogether, Polar is a very powerful photo editor and one that you need to have with Windows 10 because of the lack of photo editing options available built in. Give it a try. Ear Trumpet. 
Ear Trumpet is a volume control app. Use it to replace the default sound mixer in Windows 10. It adds the same icon to your taskbar, but with the default sound, you can only control the active sound devices and have to right click to open the volume mixer in order to change others. With Ear Trumpet, you can click and control all sound devices directly from the taskbar. And if you right click, you can easily control the legacy options directly as well. So there is no need to have the old sound icon available from the taskbar. I choose to disable it. To do that, right click, go to taskbar settings, scroll down and select which icons appear on the taskbar. Turn off the volume and the icon's gone. Now you're set with your trumpet for all of your sound controls. Translator for Edge. Not only does Translator help convert your text or voice, but the same function is available for Microsoft Edge. Launch the app and it adds an extension to Microsoft Edge to translate websites. When you open a page in another language, just click the translate icon, choose the language you want to convert from and to, and click the translate button. It automatically translates all the menus, text, and links to that language. Click again and you can show the original. You can also set it to always translate and any other pages you open will translate as well. It's a great addition to your Microsoft Edge browser. My Radar My Radar provides a real-time weather radar image. Launch the app and you see a radar image of your current location. You can zoom in and zoom out and slide the map to different areas of the country. If you click on settings, you can upgrade to remove the ads that are displayed at the bottom of the screen. And you can choose other settings for your display. Click on the current location, it takes you back. Click on layering and you can choose other types of information to add to the radar. Add temperature settings, earthquakes, wildfires, and that information is displayed on your screen. You can also see the current forecast for your area. And you can choose different map types. Roads, aerial, or grayscale, with some additional upgrade features. Altogether, my radar has a vast amount of information in a simple app and it's free for download from the Microsoft Store. Microsoft To Do. Keep your life organized with lists, tasks, and reminders using Microsoft To Do. To Do opens with My Day. This shows you activities that you've added to a list or to a planned task that are happening today. In this example, I have created a list called Create Video. And in that, I have a number of steps that I've defined and due dates for each one. When you add a new task, you just give it a description. And when you click on that, you can set a date that it's due. You can do repeating days, weeks, or months, or any kind of custom date schedule that you want. And you can pick a reminder date. You can add files, add notes, and you can assign it to other people as well. You can move these tasks around however you want to organize them. And you can right click and add them to My Day so that they show up under your My Day tasks. Anything that is starred will automatically show in your important list. And anything that's planned with a due date will show up in order of the date that it is due in the planned list. Now you can easily share a list by clicking the share button in the upper right corner, create an invitation link, and copy and send this link to anyone that you want to share that list with. You can go to more options, you can see the invitation link here, you can turn off sharing if you want to, and when you send that link other people will be able to access your content with the due dates as well. You can see that it's shared with this icon next to the list.
Microsoft To Do is powerful enough that it deserves its own video, so I'm just giving you an intro today. But it's a great free app that you can download from the Microsoft Store. Quick Look. Quick Look gives you a quick preview of file contents. After you install Quick Look, you can use it on any file list. Simply click on a file, press the space bar, and it does a preview. You can hit Escape to close. You can hit Enter to open a file in the application. If you hold the control key down and use the mouse wheel, you can zoom in and zoom out from the different views. It's a very simple tool, but handy. Wi-Fi Analyzer. Wi-Fi Analyzer gives you some great information about the Wi-Fi signals you can detect and helps you determine the best channel to use. Launch the app, it scans your network and returns information about your Wi-Fi connection. Shows the frequency, bandwidth, IP address information, what type of encryption you have. You can choose link speed or state of the connection. When you click the Analyze tab, you can see all the Wi-Fi connections and which channels they're on. If you click this, you'll see all the channels with a star indicating which ones are most open for use. And it makes a recommendation that I should run things on channel 6 because that's the most open. If you click on Networks, you can see the current network and other networks that even include some that are hidden. You can also choose to upgrade the app and for a nominal fee you'll get the pro features which includes the ability to connect to networks and you can get a beeper for signal strength so you can listen to determine the connection. Wi-Fi Analyzer is a great tool to use to analyze your Wi-Fi signal and pick the right channel. You've just watched the top 10 Windows 10 free apps. For more Windows 10 topics, click on the suggested video link above and follow the links at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.